But let's say the opponent is bigger and stronger than you are. They get a hold of you. They throw you on the ground, and now they're on top of you. This is the worst case for this reason. He can't punch me, but I can punch him. So from here, he needs to have very effective escape strategies and escape techniques because otherwise he's going to get beat up. The problem with not having a specific plan when you find yourself in the bottom of the mount is that you're going to exhaust yourself when you panic and go crazy to escape. He don't push me left, push me right. I'm going to hold him down and stabilize. He's going to exhaust his energy. If he tries to go for some dirty tricks of going for the groin, going for the eyes or the face or the throat, those all might work. But there aren't any guarantees. He goes for the groin, I get angry, I sit up, I smash his face. So it's not a very good trade. Unless he knocks me out, it's going to make the situation worse. We need plans that will not exhaust all of our energy and will get us out against a stronger opponent. So in this class, we're going to teach you three variations for how to escape the mount position, starting with the standard variation that is used when the person's hands are on your chest or throat. When they're here holding you down, what you want to do is this. Trap and roll. One more time. Check this out. What happened here is this. As I'm holding Hiron's chest down, of course, I could be punching, I could have him in a headlock, or I could be grabbing him here. Right now, standard variation, the person's hands are on your chest, pinning you down. Look what Hiron does. He takes his hand and he hooks my wrist. Opposite hand grabs my wrist, same side hand grabs the elbow. Now, the key detail is down below. He also traps my foot on the same side as the trapped arm. The reasoning here is that when he bridges his hips up, when he don't elevate his pelvis, it's going to throw me off balance. And if I don't have my hand to post out to save myself, guess what? I'm going to fall. So while my arm is pinned to his chest and the foot is trapped, watch what happens. He lifts his hips straight up. I can't post out. And I'm gone. And that's the magic.